So is there really life after death? This week's Beyond Belief looks at the afterlife and the existence of heaven. What happens to us after death? That question may be the greatest mystery of life. Most religions tell us that when we die, we either go to heaven or hell. We're taught that no one wants to go to hell, a fiery bottomless pit of misery and despair. But heaven, well, that's what we should aspire to. We're told it's the home of God, a beautiful, peaceful place inhabited by legions of angels and all of our loved ones who've died before us. It is a place where there is no hunger, no thirst, no suffering, no pain, just ecstasy and joy and the presence of God. Now, in order to get to heaven, we mortals must be saved and live an unselfish life of good deeds. In other words, to live by the golden rule. For some, the belief in heaven requires a great deal of faith, but for others, no. So how can we know for sure that heaven exists? Now, there's no concrete evidence we'll ever be given about heaven because the only way to get there is to die. And when we die, it's impossible to come back and tell the rest of the world what's on the other side. Or is it? Incredibly, one man says he did just that. Don Piper is a Baptist minister who says that on January 18, 1989, he was killed in a car accident crushed by a runaway tractor trailer. His mangled, lifeless body was left under a tarp at the accident scene while paramedics tended to the survivors of the crash. Then he says a miracle happened. After being dead for an hour and a half, he was suddenly brought back to life. In his best-selling book, 90 Minutes in Heaven, Piper says earthly words can't even come close to describing what he experienced in the afterlife. I was standing at the very gates of heaven. I was surrounded by people I knew and loved in life. People had preceded me in death. So when I saw them, I knew exactly where I was because I knew where they were. Uh, there was a magnificent gate above them, uh, behind them. It was, uh, it was, uh, Pearlized. It looked like it was uh, sculpted out of the inside of an oyster. It was uh, quite breathtakingly beautiful. The light was reflecting off the gate, uh, making it look almost as if it were alive. There really was a, a street that appeared to be gold uh, going in through the gate and extending inside. Structures inside, uh, quite magnificent, almost like uh, alabaster or uh, marble. I heard uh, the wings, the sound of wings all about me. I heard music, uh, unlike any I've ever heard before. There were many songs being played at the same time, rendered, performed at the same time, and there was no chaos. I could distinguish each one of them. The music is virtually alive, um, and it, it, it kind of penetrates you. It, you. You can feel, literally feel the music. You feel like you're a part of it. Heaven really is a a sensory explosion of sight and sound and touch. Uh, even aroma, there was, a, there was a very sweet smell about the place that I have not, uh, I've not uh, smelled here on earth. The people that greeted me at the gates of heaven were um, utterly beautiful. They were uh, perfect in every way. They were ageless. There was no age about them. They were without blemish, uh, no scars, uh, certainly no vestiges of diseases in many cases that had affected them here on earth. In fact, I didn't have a scratch on me. In the car wreck, um, I lost, uh, lost my left leg, it was severed, my right leg was crushed, my left arm actually ended in the back seat of the car. I was horribly mangled as a result of the steering wheel impaling my chest and uh, all the glass that had covered my face. But in heaven, I didn't have a scratch on me. I believe the only one in heaven with scars is Christ. And that's to remind the rest of us of how we got there. I didn't want to leave there. I wanted to stay there. If you've been there, you don't want to be here. It was, uh, it was utterly real to me. It now defines my reality. I really believe that uh, the compelling reason that God allowed me to see that was to be able to tell people without reservation and without hesitation, heaven is real.